Lisa Vanderpump has never been shy to show off her beautiful, customized mansion, Villa Rosa, whether on her shows or social media. Her Beverly Hills home is one of her favorite places in the world, and she describes it as a sanctuary. While it's still huge, it was a downsize from her former residence, and after her adult children moved out, Lisa and her husband sold their former, high-maintenance, 17,000 square foot chateau. Today we'll take a look at Lisa's luxe homes, including Villa Rosa. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Lisa Vanderpump is a British restaurateur, TV personality, author, and actress, best known for starring on the reality series Bravo's The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, as well as Vanderpump Rules. She and her husband, Ken Todd, have owned 36 restaurants, bars, and clubs in London and the US, and have amassed an estimated net worth of about $90 million in the process. With that, of course, the Vanderpump Todds have created quite the beautiful man mansion to call home. Dubbed Villa Rosa, Lisa's abode has often been the location for scenes in Vanderpump Rules and Real Housewives. She summed up the vibe of her house, saying, That's what Villa Rosa's all about. Views, sparkle, and the feel-good factor. Aside from all the luxury amenities, Lisa is also an animal lover and maintains plenty of pampered pets at her hilltop estate, including a bunch of dogs, swans, and miniature horses. Sounds like my kind of place. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one looking at the lavish properties of Lisa Vanderpump. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new content daily. If you like this video, check out our other recent drops on Real Housewives like Kyle Richards and Teddy Mellencamp which we'll link to at the end. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Before we get into Lisa's current Villa Rosa mansion, let's see her former chateau style home. Lisa and Ken decided to downsize their home to their current one after their children moved out, and their former home was located in the exclusive guard gated neighborhood of Beverly Park. It was a French chateau style mega mansion they bought for $14 million back in 2004, sitting on over two acres of land, but once the couple's children moved on, Lisa said it was just too big for the two of them. The Titanic home was featured in all its glitz and glamour on the first two seasons of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and it spans over 15,000 square feet with 7 bedrooms and 10 bathrooms. It was built in 1996, and notable features throughout were lush gardens and fountains outside, a huge tennis court, and a swimming pool. Like Villa Rosa, Lisa decked this mansion's interiors out with her favorite colors like white with lots of pink touches, and the entryway had soaring ceilings with a curved staircase. Surrounding this space, there were plenty of formal rooms to entertain in with a romantic color palette. This included the living room with piano, white fireplace, and chandelier, while the kitchen featured a spacious, sunny breakfast nook. The more casual family room had a TV and another fireplace, and there was a wine cellar with dining table. When Lisa wanted to kick back in less glamorous rooms, there were his and hers offices, as well as an all-black and moody-vibed games room or man cave, which I'm sure her husband used. Moving to the master suite and bathroom, it was much brighter, with a lot of baby pink, just like you'd expect of Lisa, while the ensuite with similar colors looked like a Barbie dream bathroom. Other spaces at this mega mansion fans may recognize from Real Housewives include the grounds, which were surrounded by a very tall hedge, and boasted shaded patios, balconies with plants, bright green lawns with paths throughout, and more. Not to mention, there was a gazebo and that oversized swimming pool and spa. Lisa and Ken let go of the mansion in 2011 for a sky-high price of $19 million during the new owner's renovations a fire broke out. Lisa said she was was really emotional about the whole fire situation even though they had moved on from the property because the house was still very dear to her. In 2011, Lisa and Ken purchased their current mansion for $10.2 million, Villa Rosa, which wasn't decked out in the Vanderpump signature style just yet, and you may find it hard to believe this beautiful home was technically a downgrade. It's nearly half the size of their former mammoth-sized chateau, yet still spanning 8,800 square feet of space with 5 beds and 8 baths throughout. The contemporary 
temporary abode is outside the gates of Beverly Park, but still in Beverly Hills, and less than a mile away from her former neighborhood. The gated and extremely private Villa Rosa is full of generously sized living and dining areas, perfect for Lisa to entertain and host guests, as well as floor to ceiling windows with upscale views. Lisa said about her dream home, Every morning I wake up and look over the incredibly lush and isolated valley below my windows and I can't help feeling happy, humbled and grateful. While this mansion was modern and move and ready, Miss Vanderpump decided to customize it to her specific tastes. And before photos at the time of purchase, interiors were impressive, but not nearly as nice as they are now. After customizing the mansion, there are bonuses throughout, like the family logo printed on the floor of the entryway, while the interior design is fun, glamorous, and funky, more in tune with the Vanderpump style. Lisa even described her mansion's palette, saying, People think that I like pink, and yes, my bedroom is a little bit pink, but for the most part, it's a neutral palette with roses and flowers and accents. There's a mix of hardwood flooring and marble, along with the shades of pink while every bathroom holds fresh pink flowers and elegant chaise lounges. In fact, all of the real flowers in her house is why it smells so good. The glitzy formal living room has a boudoir portrait of Marilyn Monroe hanging over the fireplace and elsewhere there's a dining room with a mirrored table and glittery chandelier. One really unique room in Lisa's mansion is her two level library paneled in ebony wood with a second level gallery. The library also has dramatic and tall glass doors which look out to a view over the canyons. I love to read and I definitely would love to do so in this upscale library. Other features in the Vanderpump residence include a wine cellar, a cozy media room, and an indoor outdoor dining room with chrome lined fireplace and two more chandeliers. Lisa also recently renovated her kitchen where she loves to cook, brightening the space up and forking out 300k in the process. She told Bravo, My new kitchen is off the hook. I hated the other kitchen. It was dark and I felt a little depressed in there. So we we rip that out and have this white, silver, sparkling kitchen with beautiful chandeliers. It's just fabulous. Upstairs, her master suite encompasses a spacious bedroom with sitting area, fireplace, and his and hers bathrooms. Lisa's amazing dressing room is lined with mirrored wardrobes and features like a vanity and island with storage in the middle. In fact, her closet is bigger than some apartments and looks like an upscale boutique with all of the designer bags and accessories. Talk about dream closet. Villa Rosa also includes a detached garage with guest and staff quarters, a foolproof security system, and plenty of covered patios to entertain guests. Lisa's amazing backyard has an infinity pool that overlooks Beverly Hills, and the grounds are decorated with bright flowers, tables with pink umbrellas, and a pink stable for her ponies. If that's not enough, there's a moat surrounding the mansion full of pet swans. Lisa is a well-known animal lover and activist and has pets in abundance at Villa Rosa, including at least seven dogs, miniature horses, chickens, swans, and turtles. She loves animal rescue and even drove over 500 miles in order to bring one of her dogs home with her. So now we've come to the end of our Lisa Vanderpump house tour. If you watch Vanderpump Rules or Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, then you're likely familiar with her Villa Rosa estate. But was there anything you missed or didn't know about the home? After checking her custom mansion out in depth, as well as her former mega chateau in Beverly Park, did you guys have a favorite? I personally love Villa Rosa the best as the design is amazing. And it goes to show that bigger isn't always better. Mind you, her current home is still massive. My favorite things about Lisa's property have got to be all the pets and animals because that makes the place a home. And aside from that, it would have to be the two story library and her dream closet. Did you guys like the library or closet better? Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Villa Rosa down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye!